Hi everybody! Today is January 15th, 2021 and I am so excited to be making this video because I am going to be telling you about a law that has been passed. This is years in the making to help MS patients, actually to help all patients who are receiving infusions for their medication. I get infused, I get infusions for my MS medication, but there are so many other patients who also receive infusions. And over the last 20 years, I have met a variety of patients from all over Michigan in hospitals, infusion centers, and doctor's offices. I love talking to fellow patients and I love hearing about their stories. But today I'm going to be talking about my story. When I get an infusion for my MS medication, my insurance covers the cost of the medication. But I, re I was receiving bills from my infusion centers for hundreds of dollars and sometimes for thousands of dollars. And I, I was responsible for paying that money. So what were these bills for? Why was I getting charged for my medication? I thought insurance covered it. But it turns out that I was responsible for paying for infusion services of the medication. The infusion services are when the nurse comes to my chair, they inject my arm with a needle, they run a saline solution through an IV, then they run a steroid through the IV, and then they give me ibuprofen, and finally they administer the medication. I thought it was kind of strange that I was responsible for those large costs, so I did some research. I found out that pharmaceutical companies they do pay for those, in, those infusion services in 47 out of 50 states in the country. But I live in Michigan, and Michigan is one of the three states where pharmaceuticals do not cover those costs. I didn't think it was fair, so I started taking action. After years of talking to people, and explaining my situation, I ended up getting in touch with Michigan's MS Society. In February of 2020, uh, I wrote to the MS Society and explained exactly what was happening. They asked me to participate in a congressional hearing about this issue. And June 23rd, 2020, I was a candidate in one of Michigan's Senate committee meetings and I provided my testimony along with some other candidates. On Thursday, January 7th, 2021, my contact at the Michigan MS Society wrote to MS advocates and said this. SB, which is Senate Bill, Senate Bill 809, was signed by Governor Whitmer and is now a law. This bill will allow for cost sharing for the administration of a medication. In the example of MS, people living with MS will now be able to accept assistance for the cost of the administration of their infusions. Congrats, MS advocates. This is a big win in a difficult year. The law was signed and it is currently in effect. It's in effect like today, right now. I'm really looking forward to hearing from other MS patients and all patients. I'm looking forward to hearing from patients who can finally reap the benefit of this law being passed in Michigan. I would sincerely like to thank Holly Pendel, 
because Holly has been amazing at the MS Society and has helped me so much throughout this journey. As I finish, I want to say that I would be more than happy to help anyone in Massachusetts and Rhode Island because I know that the patients there are still responsible for covering their infusion services. I'd be more than happy to help. So I wish you all the very, very best and I will be make another video soon. Okay, bye.